Mental health um, is part of our overall health. Oftentimes, when we speak about health, we mostly focus on our physical health, you know, the physical conditions like diabetes, hypertension, and so forth. Um, but mental health is definitely part of the overall health. And if we do not take care of our mental health, then definitely we as well cannot take care of our physical health. That's a critical component of integral health care. In other words, the rest of your body can't function well if your mind isn't. The Ministry of Health's mental health coordinator, Nurse Yvette Quintania, explained today they've noticed the number of suicides this year alone. In many of the cases, individuals feel depressed, despondent, and hopeless. Last year's figures show that mostly men have ended their own lives for one reason or another. For 2021, uh, the Ministry of Health has a record of 31 completed suicides. 27 of those were males and 4 were females. The age range, it ranges between the years 15 to 34. Those are the most common um, persons dying by suicide. When it comes to ethnicity, we see it highest within the Creole and the Mestizos. And as you rightly said, the methods that are used are by hanging or um, utilizing a pesticide, the true poisoning. A recent case in the Belize district has a family distraught and left with many questions. And so we asked Quintanilla how we can help teens who often feel the pressures of the world on their shoulders. Some things that might not be um, that obvious, especially when it comes to teenagers, uh, because usually they're moody, right? Um, and you will notice that they might be angry, they might be aggressive, but this might be masking um, a depression. And normally we would, we would tend to confuse that behavior with the normal behavior of, of a teenager. So we should always be vigilant um, when it comes to these symptoms that our teenagers might display. You might also notice um, a change in sleeping pattern. Either they start to sleep too much or too little. And Quintanilla stressed vigilance and for you to check in on your loved one and include those who are perceived as strong. After all, the strong need help too. We can look for signs. If we hear that somebody is talking or joking about uh, death or wanting to die, or they express feelings of hopelessness, of depression, of anxiety, um, or you notice that they are having um, difficulties with sleep or there are changes in appetite or the person isolates themselves or withdraws, you know, we look for these signs. The struggles of life often weigh heavy, but Quintinia made the call to those listening to this report to help themselves and each other and use the services available to help. We have services throughout the country. The mental health nurses are based at the clinics and we have psychiatrists as well. Um, and we have a psychologist in Belize City. So these services are for free. You can access them. You can set your appointments. And if there is a need for any medication, the medications will be provided for free as well. World Mental Health Days marked on October 10, and Quintanilla urged caring and compassion and creating spaces free of judgment and fear. After all, a little bit of kindness goes a very long way. Dale McDougall, Love News.